Hey neighbor, welcome back to ARTV. My name is John and I am beside myself today because one of my favorite bands, the Red Hot Chili Peppers, have announced the return of a very important member who has departed a couple of times and is now coming back yet again. I'm of course referring to John Frusciante, guitarist for the Red Hot Chili Peppers, once again, and it's confirmed by multiple sources. I held off on making this video because a lot of people felt like possibly this was faked because yesterday afternoon, out of nowhere, we get a screenshot essentially over on the Chili Peppers Instagram as well as Flea, the bassist, saying that Josh Klinghoffer is no longer in the band. They wish him nothing but the best. He was a brother, love for the past 10 years. But in other news, John Frusciante has rejoined. Now, obviously, people were skeptical because this was written in just like the white font that maybe you would see on like an Instagram story and then posted as an actual post. Some people didn't feel that it was worded like somebody from the Chili Peppers, but to me, I did feel that it looked like it was written by Flea. So here on this episode of News It or Lose It, we'll break down all of the sources that I've seen and of course my own takeaway. First and foremost, before we do anything else, I want to say much love and appreciation goes off to Josh Klinghoffer. That dude can play his ass off. He's so talented. He grew not only within the Chili Peppers, but as a musician, he was by far the youngest member of the Chili Peppers. And to see what he did on I'm With You, that was kind of the speed bump learning curve. Not that that's a bad album. It's one of my least favorites from one of my favorite bands still. But think about like your first few months on the job versus when you've been doing it for half a decade or more. That's just to say that he got better, honestly. He honed his craft and he continued to just put on some amazing live performances. I'm happy that I got to see them live with Josh and I'm hopeful that I'll get to see them with Frusciante now. Basically what I'm saying is that I don't want to see a ton of hate directed towards Josh saying, oh fuck that guy, his time in the band was awful because that's not true. I think The Getaway was a fantastic, even slept on album by some of the fan base. And while not all of the years were amazing, I'm grateful for his service. But of course, now we have to talk about the return of John Frusciante, the man, the myth, the legend. I gotta get chills just talking about this because it's so crazy. But this is obviously going to be his third run with the band. Originally, he was there from 88 to 92. And a lot of things started going wrong, obviously drug problems within the band. I would recommend reading Scar Tissue, Anthony Kiedis, the lead singer's autobiography, because there's a lot that does discuss those days and what happened, why it fell apart, the infamous Saturday Night Live performance, where obviously Kiedis felt that he was kind of underscored by the fact that Frusciante was playing off note, just going wild with the guitar. He left shortly after that, only to return at the end of the 2000s, from 98 until 2009, basically the end of the Stadium Arcadium era. He left the band again after that. That was one of their best records and I hated to see him go. But after that, we had the 2010s without him. And now, 10 years later, 2019 until question mark? To take a look at some of the official sources on this, we of course do not have any post at the time of recording this video on the Chili Peppers' Facebook or even their Twitter. We do have an auto post from Instagram from Flea's account over to his Twitter. But again, that's done automatically when you post Instagram. He has those two linked up. And of course, we have the official Chili Peppers account on Instagram where they seem to be the most active. I don't think this is that weird because I've noticed as a big fan of them, even though I don't use Facebook a ton, sometimes there is a delay in terms of what gets posted to Instagram and they post it a few days later over on Facebook. I'm not sure why that is, but again, it doesn't seem too suspicious to me. What's even more crazy is that we got Halil Slovak's brother, James Slovak, an original member of the Chili Peppers who unfortunately passed away from a heroin overdose in the 1980s, essentially confirming this by saying yes, when somebody said in Spanish, is John rejoining the Chili Peppers? So that screams to me a definite comeback. Obviously, there are other sources as well. We got Anthony's sister posting and sharing the story to her story on Instagram. We got a few other screenshots and various trails. And then Chad Smith, obviously the drummer of the Chili Peppers, posted again. So unless this is a major hack job that nobody has cracked down on within like 24 hours, hours of the post going live, then I don't see how that could be possible. This is real, ladies and 
gentlemen, and even a source close to Josh Klinghoffer confirmed his departure from the band. This seems unbelievable on so many different levels. It almost feels inconceivable because I think John Frusciante has kind of talked at length about how he put down the guitar, he doesn't really play it anymore, but I'm pretty sure there had to be some sort of stipulation or clause in the contract for when they hired Josh Klinghoffer as guitarist of the Chili Peppers saying that if Frusciante wants back in, he's getting back in, no hate, Nothing at all, but this could be temporary because this is our brother. Not to say that you're not, but you know, this is the older brother. John Frusciante just makes magic with the Chili Peppers. I mean, look at some of their best records, like Californication, he was on fire. By the way, Stadium Arcadium, that three album run right there is insane. It showed off the love that he had for that instrument and what he could do with that guitar. I think back to some of their most infamous performances, I just, I can't even wrap my head around this still, but I just think about the best moments with Frusciante and I see the future of the Chili Peppers and this makes sense. They did need some sort of jolt to really get them going again and I feel like this is why some of the creative sessions for their upcoming studio album might have stalled. Maybe they were in talks and obviously Flea was spotted with Frusciante. They're good friends. They go to Laker games and stuff together so this really does make sense. To say it snuck up on us is definitely a fair statement to make, but also at the same time, we probably could have seen something coming. There were hints, like I said, they were on good terms again. They were spotted together, both Anthony and Flea, I believe. So John Frusciante is officially back with the Red Hot Chili Peppers playing that axe. I'm ready to hear what he has to say in 2020, hopefully on a new Chili Pepper Studio album. What's it gonna sound like? Let me know your thoughts on all of this madness in the comments section down below. Obviously, I'm extremely excited. I'm kind of flowing over like a volcano over here. It's pouring out of me, but I'm stoked. I hope you guys are as well, but what do you guys think? Were you a huge fan of Josh Klinghoffer? Are you sad to see him go? Would you hope that he would stay on as a touring member? But also, who would really want to do that? That'd be like saying, hey, we're going to demote you, but you know, we still kind of want you around in the background. I don't think that would be best for anybody involved, but I'd love to know your thoughts. Are you stoked about the comeback of Frusciante? Let me know down below, and don't forget to drop a like while you're here. Subscribe for the love of music, and if you haven't checked out my top 10 on the Red Hot Chili Peppers, or even my ranked episode that I did where I ranked every album worst to best, then check the links below me here. Other than that, you can check me out on social media, including Instagram at ARTVJohn, links in the description, and I'll see you soon for more right here on Beyond ARTV.